placing a market order to sell a futures contract on the Infinity AT trading platform is easy and intuitive. Let's take a look. This is the e mini S&P uh, stock index futures market right here. And we see a 10 minute Japanese candle chart. The first thing I'm going to do is activate the trade area by clicking on the up and down arrow on the upper right hand side of the trading charts. That's going to activate the trading area of the charts. The second thing I'm going to do is I am going to click on the MKT or the market button. And that brings up a trade ticket, which is populated in the middle of the screen. And you see, we have a couple of options. We could buy, it's color coded at green, or we could sell, it's color coded at red. Stop loss, I'm gonna keep blank. Take profit, I'm gonna keep blank. We'll cover those two areas in another video. We have lot size set at one. Lot size means how many contracts you'd like to buy or sell. In this case, we're gonna keep it at one. And to send a market order, all is I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit that sell button. But before I do, I wanna draw your attention over to the right so you can see our positions now. ES, M0, that's the contract we're looking at. Our position is zero, we don't have a position. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the sell button once. You'll hear a ding. And then you'll see we're short one, we've sold one at the market, minus one. And if you wanna know the price, you could just simply click on the closed book. It'll show you the price. I've made a few trades today, so you could actually see that this one was at a higher number. It was 92.22 and three quarters. That's where I'm short from. I'm going to click back here. Position is still a short one. It's really that simple. Remember, when you sell on a market order, you're telling the exchange that you want to sell at the best available price. In other words, the highest bid that's available at that particular time. Hope that helps.